Today we're doing our July favorites. It's our first favorites video, so we're really excited. Very excited to show you guys. Okay, so first up we have Wet n Wild Mega Last Nail Polish in the shade Heat Wave 212C. I'm not wearing it right now, but I've worn it for most of the month. That's why I changed it yesterday. Um, it's a really like bright orange pink color, and I don't know if you guys have ever tried this brand. And it's like two dollars at CVS, but it yeah. stays on really well. And it's shiny and it's it's just as good quality as like Essie, I would say. Yeah. And the colors, like they're getting more colors now, and this is one of the newer shades. It's perfect for summer. One of my favorites this month is the Macadamia Professional Nourishing Moisture Oil Treatment. And it, you I used to wear it like two years ago. I wore it every day, and then I just like stopped spending money on it. And my hair's been really damaged, so I bought it again, and they redid their packaging. And I just forgot how much I love it. It makes your hair so soft and it like really takes care of split ends. And I've just been loving it again. And it has, I like the scent. Some people don't. And I just buy the little bottle because I don't use a lot and I don't really need the big ones. We also are loving the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. I think they're like two or three dollars online. Um, I can't remember the name of the website I got it from, but I'll post it down below. Um, it was recommended by other YouTubers and they have all the LA Girl products. And I just heard such good things about this, really want to try it out. It covers so nicely, stays on all day, doesn't feel thick on your skin, doesn't like, crease. I don't think I'll ever go to another concealer. I, we were using the Maybelline um, Dark Circle Eraser, and I do really like that because of the sponge applicator. And this one kind of has a weird applicator, it's kind of like a brush that you brush on. So it's kind of a task to even it all out and blend it out and stuff, but it works so well. We have never discovered a drugstore foundation we love more, and this is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte. And you probably heard everyone talking about it. It's so it's popular. Amazing. I was like hesitant because I'm like, are these people getting paid to review this product? No. This is the best drugstore foundation we have ever used. We have oily T zones, especially, mm -hmm. and I don't even need to blot my face with this. No, like we used to buy like two packs of oil body strips when we go to the store, like and use them constantly in this hot summer heat. But now I never blot my face. Like it seriously does last all day. And even if you try to like, you know how like halfway through the day, or if you're like going to happy hour, you want to like touch up your makeup, you don't even need to, but you kind of can't because I've tried to put like another layer over it and it gets cakey and weird. So just like really let it sit on your face the whole day because it looks great. Yeah, um, it's also um, kind of like a lighter consistency and when it dries mm -hmm. in your skin, I feel like then it kind of thickens up. Yeah, but it just gives you, I've gotten so many compliments on my skin after starting to wear this. Like it gives you a really flawless look. And we both wear the share the shade 104 Golden Beige. If yeah. you have similar skin tones to us. And also we use a beauty blender to apply it. Um, I don't really know if it would work very well with a brush because like I said, it's very light to put on and then it gets hard. So you really do want to get a really even. Well, it dries brush. fast. So yeah. a damp beauty blender I think works the best. The best for sure. We are also loving the Sephora Matte Lip Stain in the shade Marvelous Mauve. It's I mean, such a pretty color. It's, I know it kind of looks, oh, just another pink lipstick. No. No. It's like a deep pink. And it, I feel like it complements anyone's skin tone, anyone's hair color. Like, it's such a great shade. Every time we wear this, we get so many compliments. Yeah, and I actually waited six months to buy this. I, like, fell in love with the color on Pinterest. And I, like, kept looking on the Sephora website. And I called Sephora, like, five times. They were like, we're going to get it in. We're going to get it in. So I was on the wait list, and six months later, it finally became back in stock. I even paid for shipping and just wanted this so bad. Also, they're on sale for $7 right now. Um, crazy. I kind of want to buy more shades, but they're I They're normally 13 though, and th this formula is amazing. I also have another shade, the Watermelon Slice. I have Blackberry Sorbet, and I really but like But this is too. 13 Marvelous Mauve. You have to get this. It's the best. I'm actually wearing this on my lips right now, and it's one of the new... Maybelline Color Blur Lip Studio Matte Sticks. We have two shades. We have the one I'm wearing, which is Very Misbehaved, and then a darker shade, which is Plum Please. Yeah. And um, I love the pink color for summer. And there's like some brighter pinks in the collection, but this one is kind of like a reddish pink, and it's just really pretty. It's almost like Mac Rebel, which we love to wear as well. Well, yeah, that's more pink though. Yeah. And then Plum Please is perfect for fall. And it, it like, don't be scared that it says Plum Please because there's a lot of red in it. It's not just purple. Yeah. It's really beautiful. And also, like, it's it's 
always good to like test it out because you it looks like oh just another pink just a purple white why would i put this on my lips but if you actually like try it out it, sometimes they look completely different like the marvelous mom like it looks so different on you so you really have to test it out don't be scared to like try new shades that you wouldn't normally and um also with these i'm sure you guys have heard about them at least but they have this like blurring stick on the end to like kind of like an your, lips. your lips um, it's like a european thing i yep. think no it's asia Oh. We don't use that side. I don't really know if anyone does. So it's really just like a lot Cram. of product and it's a stick and it, it's really matte. So that's awesome. And it's yeah. creamy when it's applied. It doesn't stay on as long as some that I've worn, but I'd say it stays on for like a good 3-4 hours. I don't know if you guys saw our Neutrogena skincare post, but this was one of the products that we talked about in it. It's the Oil Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Facial Cleanser by Neutrogena. Um, I don't know, in the summertime, I feel like we just love fruity things, like yeah. fruity drinks, fruit in general, and fruity facial cleansers. Yeah. And grapefruit is one of it's our favorites. favorite. And so we were super pumped when they came out with like, their grapefruit line. Now there's a scrub, moisturizer, wipes, everything grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, but it just works really well. It's very like light. It's light, but there's acne, like acne cleanser in yeah. their medication. Like most of their um, cleansers, but it's very light when you put it on your hand. It's not very thick. And then when you wash it, it's not very harsh on your face, but you can definitely tell like your face gets a nice clean wash, which is my favorite type of cleanser because you don't want it to be too abrasive on your skin. You don't want it to be too thick where it stays on your skin. That's probably the worst. So this is such a good balance. Our last like makeup item is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. And we were given this by our mom for Christmas. It came in a set in Sephora because I would never spend like $40 on BB cream. Just can't stomach that. But um, this I've been using like all month of July, all month of June, whenever we go like to the beach. I I tried using like SPF like 50 Neutrogena face cream and I still got red. And then I wore this like the next day and nothing. Like yeah. nothing gets through this. Like and sometimes on the weekend I'll put it on just so I don't feel like wearing makeup. And like I'll be outside and like my arms and top my arms will get red or something. And I'm like, why is my face red? Like usually it's the first thing to go red. And I'm like, I totally put on my BB cream. Yeah, and it's SPF 35 and it's a really light, nice feeling. This is what it is. I do think it's kind of thicker than other BB creams, but mm -hmm. I like that about it. Because you can almost wear it as a foundation. Yeah, and it feels kind of like cool to the touch when you put it on your skin. And it's just so light and it's perfect for summer. Like, it's just so great for summer. I can't even stress it enough. And this is the shade Light, and it, um, it's actually a little darker than you think, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, definitely. Like, we were worried because we didn't like, put it on. In the set, mm -hmm. it only came with one shade, so you can't choose. And um, this is like our perfect shade. We have these Crunchy Cookie Crisps by Hannah. Is it Hannah Max? Hannah Max Baking. Baking. Tastes like a cookie, mm -hmm. eats like a crisp. They oh really God. do taste like cookies. Um, I've tried the vanilla and the chocolate chip and now the snickerdoodle. Oh, they're so good. They're, all, they're amazing. And it's kind of just like mini cookies and I feel like that's why they're healthier. For five cookies, it's 130 calories, which I feel like in general would be one normal size cookie. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of nice to have like bite size and you it's can make like, like little sandwiches with them. And they're, possibilities are endless. I know. They're just amazing. And the back says it like use all good ingredients and you can tell you this tastes so good and I don't know if you guys love cinnamon sugar but it's my favorite company favorite combination but they're all their flavors are good you can find them at Target at Target go get them I think they're $3.99 another food item it's food should taste good brand and they just pick that name like straight into the point yeah see I think this brand makes like those sweet potato chips I'm not really sure oh, but it's like a healthy brand and it's a Food Should Taste Good brand, Real Good Bar, and the flavor is hazelnut sea salt. And they only have two flavors, and this is one of them because they're very new. But they have them out of The packaging well. is really cute and modern, though, if you guys can yeah. see. Yeah, kind of like a look-alike wannabe kind bar, but not. Yeah, so I got this instead of getting a kind bar at the store like a few weeks ago because it was only a dollar. I don't know how much kind bars are where you guys live, but they're pretty expensive where we do. And um, like the, it doesn't have a lot of calories or carbs or, well, there's kind of a lot of fat from macadamia nuts. But what really sold me was that it says, with almonds, Madagascar vanilla, and a hint of orange zest, dipped in fair trade cocoa. I love orange zest 
so much. And I, I love Madagascar vanilla. Yeah, and this thing, I can't even describe how it tastes, but it, it tastes so good. Like, it's my new favorite granola bar. And you know when you're on the go and it's summer, you're going to the beach or you're going bars to like lifesavers. We're all about trying new ones. So if you guys have recommendations of your favorite kind bar yeah. or other bars you've discovered, we'd like to let us them. know and please try this one. It's delicious. Yeah. So we have one song favorite this month and it's a new favorite. It actually just came out like uh, last week. Recently, yeah. Yeah, and it is Golden by Travi McCoy featuring Sia. I turn up. You get the gist, you get the gist. Awesome song. Yes. We actually only have one song favorite, which is kind of it just stood out. For us. We play yeah. it all the time. So all the time. Thank you guys for watching our July favorites video. We'll be doing these every month. We'll include food items, beauty products, music, anything. We're just loving them. Yeah, and we'll include all the links below where you can buy these items and look them up. And please let us know what your favorites are because we love trying new things and we just want to know what you guys love. Yes. And please subscribe if you like this video. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up.